All right, guys, here we are today, sitting down, and uh, I ran into an issue with my Raspberry Pi, which I'm logged into right now, uh, that this same person here on uh, stackexchange.com was running into, where it kept saying that updating from this repository can't be done securely, but, like, first off, the repository does no longer have a release file. So it was cheesing me off for a really long time, and I couldn't figure out what the deal was. Couldn't find out. It's like a locality issue. And uh, so I'll show you what I end up using. And I have it here in a text file to get things to run straight. So I'll just make a recording, show me going through it. Now, if you guys are on Raspberry Pi, open up a command line. Um, if you don't have access to the Raspberry Pi via the head unit, you can SSH into it or use PuTTY if you're using Windows. But as long as you can log into your Raspberry Pi, uh, you can run the same thing. So I've already done it, but. I'll run through the first one. So sudo or sudo dpackage dash reconfigure locales. I hit the enter after slapping that bad boy in, and what I ended up doing was I just scrolled down. For me, I am enutf us dot utf eight. So da da, where's the e? Oh no, I'm ar. I go all the way down. B C D. Okay, e n. Right, US dot UTF eight UTF eight. So that was it. So after that, you can hit the space bar and hit enter. And then it asks you again. Uh, so I just hit you know, you hit the space bar or enter and then it reconfigures your locality. Which was good. I'm done with that. And then uh, after that I did reconfiguration of the keyboard. Hit enter, and what it does is it just reconfigures your keyboard based on your locality. Life is good. I mean, that's pretty awesome. And then from there, I did uh, TZ data, and that's time zone. I'm in America, and I'm outside of the Detroit area, so I just hit enter for America, and then it's already set to Detroit, but that's where I'm at. Hit enter. It changed it. As you can tell, it's uh, pretty close to midnight here where I'm at and all as well so going back sources.list that's the same as it was before but if I do I use apt instead of apt get you can see the in release in release in release and before it used to say release was another one here and then we're just like bomb out it would give me exactly what this person was saying right here and this is the one that was messing me up because it had a release, or right here, number three, same thing. You know, it had release stuck in it. So that was the one that was bombing me out. And now everything seems to work great. So I updated my packages, life is good. And now my Raspberry Pi works correctly again. So uh, I hope this helps you guys out. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. But there again, I'm a machinist, I'm not an IT guy. So I'm just dabbling whatever I think I can actually make work. So until next time, you guys, uh, you enjoy your weekend.